kind of here to do my January wrap up and my February TBR. not a spectacular month for me, but it was a fairly good month in that I met my reading goals for Goodreads and I made some progress to, towards my end of the year goals as well. In January, I read a total of four and a half books. Overall, very highly rated and so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. The first book that I completed in January was The Uncommon Reader by Alan Bennett. Uh, this was a library book, hence me not having a physical copy, but I'll throw a picture up. Um, the Uncommon Reader is sort of a story about the Queen of England finding a mobile library and falling in love with reading. Overall, I thought this book was a cute story, it was funny, it was interesting, and it had so many wonderful book quotes. All my notes here up until here are all book quotes from here. It's just it the way that it talks about books. You can tell that the author is a book lover because the way that he talks about reading and how books take you in, someone who doesn't read wouldn't understand that as deeply and fully. And so for that, I loved it. The story overall was okay. I had trouble with the characters at times. And I felt that when it came to reading and writing and treating them as two completely separate things, the Queen starts to want to write more and she kind of abandons reading completely. And so that bothered me a little because I think to be a great writer, you have to also be a reader. But overall, I enjoyed the book. So I actually gave The Uncommon Reader by Alan Bennett three and a half out of five Goombas. The second book that I read in January was The Old Man's War by John Scalzi. This book was lent to me by a friend. Old Man's War follows the story of John Perry, who is a 75-year-old man who joins the military. Uh, it takes place in the future where um, a private organization, military operation, allows people to enlist when they're 65 and then join the military when they're 75 and there's not a whole lot known about the process but these people are enlisted for two years with an up to 10 year uh, stay in the military and then they're given a new life on a new planet. Um, overall this story was excellent. John Scalzi did not disappoint. I loved the characters. I loved the setting. Um, it was fantastic. And so I gave Old Man's War by John Scalzi four out of five Goombas. The next book that I read was Divergent by Veronica Roth. I had never read Divergent. This was my first foray into the series and I enjoyed the first book. Um, this book was a three for me. Most of the way through the end is what clinched it for me and I gave this four out of five Goombas. After I finished Divergent, you can bet that I picked up Insurgent. Um, this is the sequel to Divergent and I absolutely adored this book. I read the majority of it in a day um, and I loved it way more than the first book. Um, the story was really interesting and it kept me captivated. So I gave uh, Insurgent by Veronica Roth 4 out of 5 Goombas. The last book that I picked up during January but did not finish was Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, I started reading this. I was doing a buddy read with Risa Reads and Well Done Books. I'll put links to their channels down below. Um, so I was attempting to finish this in January. I didn't quite finish this in January, I, but I did start a majority of it. To do a quick checkup on my yearly goals and how I did in January, 
I read four books out of my goal of 50. None of them were classics or nonfiction, but two of them, Divergent and Insurgent, counted towards my big books. I want to read 10 big books throughout the year, and both of these are over 400 pages. I also am attempting to read primarily books that I own that I have not read, and three of the books that I read counted towards that goal. Overall, I think January was a good month. I completed some goals, read quite as much as I wanted to, but February is going to be really ambitious, so I hope that that little lull into the year will help push me, and February is going to be really successful. On to my February TBR. First and foremost, Steel Heart by Brandon Sanderson. I had started it in January and finished it the first day of February. But the second book that I started in February and I'm attempting to complete is Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I started this immediately when I finished Insurgent and uh, I will be taking a break, which you'll hear why in a minute, but um, I'm already 100 pages in and I have to finish this. So this will be very, very soon. I'm filming this a few days into February, so obviously you've seen some books that I've already read or started to read, but today, February 3rd, starts a readathon. Alan Janae and, a f and uh, Alyssa over at AC Reads and a bunch of other booktubers are doing a yearathon. So each month they're doing a readathon at the start of the month, and this month they are doing a reread or read if you've never read the Harry Potter series. So today is Monday. Uh, I'll be uploading this as soon as I finish. Um, so I started Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm going to be attempting to read the entire Harry Potter series in one week. Daunting, I know, but I'm still going to try. As you can see, I am about halfway, a little over halfway through this, which means tonight and then tomorrow all day I will be reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I will then be moving on to Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Then Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And finishing up with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I have not reread this series since the last book came out. I reread all of the books, which I hadn't read all of them. Only about half of those books were rereads for me. So I'm very, very excited to do that. And I have to tell you that uh, getting back into this series and reading the first book has made me giddy as a schoolgirl because just entering this magical world and knowing this is the first book and I have six more to go just makes me really excited. So I actually think that this readathon I will be able to do because I'm really freaking excited to read all the Harry Potter books again. And as I said, after I finish the Harry Potter readathon, I will be picking back up Allegiant by Veronica Roth. The only other books that I am planning on reading this month for certain are The Kite Runner by Khalid Husseini. Um, I got this one from the library, so I will be reading this as quickly as possible. Then I will be picking up Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I know that the movie for this comes out, I believe, this week, and I have not read this yet, so I want to read this um, before I see the movie, or at least before I hear all the spoilers about the movie. Finally, long overdue, I will be picking up The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I started this book and it was in the middle of reading something else, so I lent it to my father. I never actually got to finish reading this, so I will be picking this up and reading this this month. That is it for me, you guys. Let me know in the comments below what you're going to be reading this month. And also let me know if you want to see a review of any of these books. I'm thinking that I'm going to have a discussion about Divergent as soon as I finish the entire series about what my thoughts are about the series and the pros and cons of marathoning it for the first time rather than having read each book when they came out. 
So I will see you guys next time. Instead of my Let's Talk Tuesday video tomorrow, I will have the giveaway winner for my giveaway, which is long overdue. So tune in tomorrow to see if you won my giveaway. Okay, bye.